So now let's let's move towards with the exception. Now, if I remember, if I print if I print the value, let me just after this zero, let me also print the value of e. If you observe the type of error it is throwing is arithmetic exception. Now, what exactly arithmetic exception is? It's a it's a subclass of exception. Now let's let's check uh, how it works. Let me just write here instead of exception. Let me write arithmetic exception. Okay, and let's see what is exactly arithmetic exception means. So if I go to this class arithmetic exception, arithmetic exceptions extends runtime exception. That means if you go to this example here, we have arithmetic exception. Uh oh, exception. Right, and this arithmetic exception is a subclass of runtime exception. Now let's see what is exactly runtime exception is. If I go to click on runtime exception, runtime exception extends exception as we have seen here. It is runtime. It is exception, right? And if I go to exception again, how to jump from class to class? Just type, just press Control and click on the class name, and you can see this exception here extends throwable except throwable class. So this is the whole hierarchy. Right, and all these data are uh, data are been fetched from uh, Java Docs. So in NetBeans you have inbuilt Java Docs, so nothing to worry about to download all those uh, files. Okay, now let's let's move towards uh, next next type of error. Let's say uh, I I take an uh, let me take an array here. So let's say I have an array of uh, named A. I will say new int, and the size of my array is four. Simple. And uh, let me add some values in that. So let me add some values. We'll say int i equal to zero because index will start with zero, not i. This time we'll see a counter c, and c less than equal to four, and c plus plus, right? And let me save the value of. Not, not, we'll not print here. We'll want to save the value. So we'll say a of c is equal to c plus one. That means the value of this array will start with a one, and it will go till four. Right? This is what we're expecting, right? Now let me just run this run this code. Again, the only error we are expecting is this, right? That means arithmetic exception cannot divide by zero. If you run this code, oh, with this, okay, we we got only one error. We got we got the Okay. Okay. Now let me just print this value. So how to print values? We can use enhance for loop. We'll say int. Maybe uh, I'm running out the variables names. Okay. So let me say int p, or we'll say int value from a. And let me print all the values of a, which is uh, a value. Okay. And let me just run this code. And for loop is not working. Now why? Uh, it's because your k is throwing an error, right? It's because the value of j is zero. Let me just make the value as two, so that see the problem is once you once you get this error here, it is directly jumping to the catch statement. What I want to continue this block, right? So let me just remove that error by hitting two. If I run, if I run this code, boom, you are getting one more error, and that is your array index outer bound exception. Which simply means the size of your array is four, and the number of values you are storing is five. See this? It's starting with zero. It is going to four. That means zero, one, two, three, four, five, or five. We are getting five elements, right? That means we have value zero, one, two, three, four. That means we are getting five elements, and that's why it's giving an error. So what we should do is we should remove this equal to here. But let's see how to handle it. The type of error it has thrown is array index out of bound exception. What it means, with this one, uh, uh, with this one try, you can write multiple catch, and the second catch will be array index out of bound exception. We'll say again e, and we'll print here uh, maximum number. Of values is four, so you can add only four elements, right? And now if I run this, 
with the same error it will call maximum number of value is number of values is four simple so that means we can have multiple catch with one try so we have two catches here with one try and this is how you can you can go with one try with multiple catches okay and the remaining part we'll see in the next tutorial